Hey Rifters, Cymatic Bruce here. I'm about to give a presentation at Cisco to a bunch of engineers. You know, I'm not nervous at all. You know, it's cool. It's fine. <laughs> hey, let's, do it. let's do it. Cymatic Bruce. I understand some of you have seen my videos. Uh, I am going to be here showing off a uh, new, very exciting technology. Obviously, it's uh, very, very cool. I want to give you a little bit of information about the unit and also a little bit of information about myself. I have an educational background in physics, which I bet's other state. Uh, I have always been interested in virtual reality and video games uh, and in computers in general as a child. Um, but the last six years or so, I've been in science education for me, so I've been doing different things uh, with the tech museum, doing exhibit content, teaching kids, video game design, and other things like that. Um, and I am now the uh, director of the tech museum summer camps, so that's a lot of fun. Um, but in my spare time, uh, I was able to get a hold of one of these. It's a, currently a development kit. It was made by a gentleman named Palmer Lucky. Uh, who is a virtual reality enthusiast and basically had a whole lot of HMDs he had collected and really wanted something that was going to be immersive for gaming. Unfortunately, there was nothing really out there that fit the bill that had decent head tracking, that had a decent field of view, so you actually feel like you're in the world rather than watching a screen that's attached to your face, um, and had really convincing stereoscopic 3D. And so, he set out to make this item since it did not yet exist. Uh, and thanks to the mobile's phone market, uh, where accelerometers and magnetometers and other objects have been smaller and smaller and cheaper and faster, uh, he was able to assemble a very compelling prototype uh, that he then sent over to John Carmack, and the rest has been just a whirlwind of press and craziness around this particular object. The Oculus Rift is at this time, this development kit is a 7 inch, 720p screen. Uh, and in front of that screen is uh, two lenses uh, that warp the picture and give you a wide field of view, about 110 degrees diagonal, 90 degrees horizontal. So it feels like you're wearing ski goggles or if you were putting your hands to your side of your face like this, it's kind of a similar feeling. Um, so it's very wide, you feel like you're in another place. Um, there is only one screen, and the way that it displays the game is it divides the screen in two, so each eye gets an independent picture, and there's no cross-talk between the eyes. So the stereoscopic 3D is going to be a level above anything you've experienced on a 3D television or uh, on a 3D monitor playing video games. Uh, it's right in your face, and uh, 3D is not very exaggerated, so it feels very natural. Again convincing your, your mind that you're somewhere else, which is very cool. And then the head tracking is a custom uh, tracker that's made by Oculus, um, and it includes an accelerometer, uh, magnetometer, and gyro, um, and they have this sensor fusion thing going on. Uh, so basically you have a magnetometer, which is giving you an absolute headache, so you're not going to drift, you always come back to the same place. Uh, you have the gyro that's giving you some great position data, an accelerometer that's giving you some great movement data, and by combining those, you have some head tracking that you can't shake even if you try, uh, which is uh, very impressive, probably one of the strongest uh, selling points in the web. The Oculus Rift only has rotation, so if you roll your head, or do you pitch, or do you yaw, it will pick that up. If you lean forward or lean back or lean to the side, that's positional tracking. It does not have that at this current time. That's something that Oculus is working on. Um, also, another uh, improvement is going to be the resolution. Uh, 720p screen doesn't look too bad when you hold it a few uh, foot in front of your face, but when it's three inches from your face and you're only looking at two small circles on that screen, um, it is not that great. Uh, if you are still and you look and concentrate, you can see individual pixels um, and what we call the screen door effect. Uh, so there's definitely some improvement to be had there, especially if you want to do something like watching 3D movies 
um, which is a very enjoyable experience, even at the low resolution. Um, it's easy to avoid screen work by permitting games like moving around and jumping and everything. And we are going to start with do some, some demos, and uh, it's going to be the Tuscan demo. Uh, so basically, it's the built in level that's with the Oculus SDK. Uh, it's a model of Tuscany. There's a building. You can go outside of the awesome house and look around. There's trees. You can see a view of the ocean. And this particular version I have is modified by the guys at Sixes uh, that did the Razer Hydra, which is this uh, apparatus. It is a three-positional game controller uh, using a magnetic field. It's able to get all your repositioning and, uh, and uh, also rotation as well, um, which is pretty cool. So in their special version of this demo, they're able to have the Hydra represent your hands in game. Uh, so you can use the triggers to close and open your hands, which is pretty neat. So before we get started, were there you know, any like, general questions or anything I can answer? Or... How's the community? How's the community? Uh, excited. Um, very, very excited. It is uh, basically a small community of VR enthusiasts, uh, indie developers, uh, and different people from all walks. Uh, that are really excited about producing things. The people that have already got their kids are already hard at work uh, on the Oculus Dev forums, you know, releasing tech demos of all types. 50% um, of the orders of the Rift have been from Europe, uh, so VR is definitely a very hot thing over there. Uh, UK and Germany, they're very excited about that, so uh, everyone's very cooperative and collaborative at this point and really trying to think of all sorts of applications for this technology outside of you know, the obvious of gaming. Uh, currently, I have eight lenses here. Um, so those are with people that have good vision. So if you have good vision or you're planning to wear your glasses while you're in the rift, you want to do it now. Um, and we can get to those folks. And if you are a nearsighted person and you wear glasses and you like to experience it with your glasses off, I will be switching the cuts out to a different size lens cup. Um, that will make that experience better for those those folks that have uh, within your side. How bad? <laughs> How bad? Yeah. I think you're wearing a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's definitely a gentleman sitting there. Um, my vision is pretty bad. I use the C, uh, what they call C cups, um, in the uh, in the item, and I'm able to wear um, you know, just full of hot glasses and everything, which is pretty cool. It's pretty good. And special structures? Yes. We are going to take good care of this unit, so that means being sanitary. <laughs> so I have some very cute baby ones. Um, I would like everyone, if you please, uh, if you wipe your face, uh, pour them on the rift so we don't get the foam all gunned up uh, after 60 people trying it. That would be cool. All right, excellent. Let's get started. <laughs> Chris, you going first? <laughs> cool. <laughs> yes, there's been some talks about that, and I think um, well, there's been some demos actually where we have like just regular stereo 3D. But I think some of the they have been creative, so I think that's an issue that they know. They're dealing with they can't touch it, so all of the. Alright. 
Shoot off, but try to grip, just grip the chair. See what happens. Oh, oh. <laughs> there we go. Physics at its best. Okay, very good. Uh, try and grab a book instead. <laughs> Close the trigger to, to actually grab a book. And you should be able to. There you go. Nice. <laughs> Oh, Fahrenheit 451. <laughs> Excellent. Nice. All right, we got to bring you on back. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> cool. Yeah, you like it? Yeah. Awesome. Next, please. So, it is. Standing up is more immersive and also more dangerous. Usually you want to spot her. I've stood up in my room for a while and like, oh, oh, oh. Um, and almost knocked everything down. So. Oh, my. Right. Awesome. Yeah. I wonder how much does the development cost? What's your Twitter handle? What's that? Do you have a Twitter handle? Uh, Dread Visor is my Twitter handle. Yeah. I'm worried about people starting. D-R-E-D, and then Visor. Oh, thank you, buddy. All right. Yeah. Good? Uh, look all right? I remember that. OK, so you want to look up. So you want to look down, look at the floor, witness your lack of body. <laughs> look to the left. And up to the right. And then look behind you. Yeah, I mean, what does it tell me? It would, yes. Give me some hands here. Here we go. Want to get the triggers? Yep. Yeah. Want them to the shoulders. Pull the triggers. And then you have hands. Huh. <laughs> what? Take the log out of the fire or the book back. It's a strong book. It gets an Economicon. It doesn't, it doesn't work. What's really cool, if you want to move out to the fountain and drop the book in, you can see what happens. Or you can throw it on the floor. That's cool. I was trying to throw it out the window. Now, throwing things is a little different because you want to release it about where you normally would in real life, but you have to release the trigger much later. Can I turn with this? You can turn with one and then move with the other. What are you doing in the mall? <laughs> yes. There you go. Go. Drop it in the water. Or <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh my God. Exactly. All right. I'll pull you out. Well done. Way to take the book to the somewhere. <laughs> uh huh. Awesome. All right. Cool. Next up, come forth. Yeah. <laughs> okay, excellent. So you want to go ahead and uh, find your sweet spot there? Oh yeah. Uh, pull this one. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Right. 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 So you want to look uh, standard all the way up, all the way down yeah. to the left. Oh yeah. yeah. And to the right. Behind you. Yeah. Here we go. Boom, boom. Grab the triggers. There we go. And we can pull the triggers now, and there you go. We got it. <laughs> now, this one wants you to grab a barrel. You have to kind of grab it on the side. It's, it's really nice. All right, excellent. You got it. 
And barrel in the fountain. Awesome. Excellent. The mm -hmm. mm -hmm. book is on fire. It's down there hanging out. Yeah. Driving this one. Oh, there we go. <laughs> 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 nice! And the fire is put out. Alright. Ready to go? No, it's definitely the first floor of Billy Levin. We're always green. Yeah. Let's put it in the virtual world. Excellent. It's a, it has a very weak magnetic field that's put out. Make you feel dizzy, Dave. Inside those three coils that are four the gauntlet. Yeah, really, I can't believe it. It's almost to be imagined. It's a magnetic interference, which is kind of rough. <laughs> if you get too far, it starts to shake and destabilize. <laughs> All right, are you ready? <laughs> Let's do it! Get your sweet spot. And slowly the young man was never heard from again. She <laughs> Light the book up again. So you want to look all the way up. <laughs> To your left and to your right. And like the anybody, driving anybody around. You know, it's driving anybody around. Oh yeah, uh, yeah it's right. not that high, no. It's, uh, I had no idea. Definitely. Like, uh, when, when you're in game plan to concentrate on something else, you can forget about it rather easily. Yeah, uh, but uh, yeah, I think I'm already getting used to it. So bring those to your shoulders and pull the triggers. And then put your hands out. That's something that I Yes. <laughs> oh, this is so disorienting. Yes. The movement is really, really beautiful. Yeah. I feel like I'm moving in the chair, but I love it. Oh, nice. I feel like it's closing the shutters. Yeah. I've it feels like being on a roller coaster. <laughs> yes, it does. This is this type of movement in this demo is gliding. There's no bob at all, so you might have a different feeling than if it, if there was. Do it. No? That was a poor throw, but that's okay. Oh, what a nice catch! <laughs> <laughs> that takes some practice for sure. <laughs> All right, so we got a line, so I can pull you out. All right, awesome, excellent. Here we go. All right, Rifters, Cymatic Ben just got done. The Cisco craziness. It was like, Woo! how many hours, Ben? How many hours was I smiling at these people? <laughs> oh my God, it was, it was gonna be like four hours Dude, straight. Four, four hours straight? Cymatic Bruce doesn't play around, man. Yeah, that all right, five. there we go, five? Five hours. Five hours, five hours straight. Yeah. I've been corrected. Like a true scientist, I take correction in style. Okay, all right, very good. Um, this is gonna be a 24 hour Cisco hackathon. They're not playing around. Uh, there's only a few stragglers left. They're not playing around either. Oh, they're serious. These guys are serious right here. They're not, they're not, they're, they're not gonna give up. It's gonna be fantastic. Anyway, I showed every one of these heads the rift, and each one of them uh, loved it to different degrees. One guy just started crying and didn't know what his shoulders were, <laughs> and that was really fantastic. Awesome. Uh, so, excellent. I'm gonna wind down. We're gonna leave Cisco, and uh, I hope to be back. So, sweet until the next VR experiment.